Okay, so let's just get right into it. What if I told you there's an AI coding tool out there right now that could seriously shake up your entire workflow? I'm talking about a tool that might just make expensive assistants like Claude Code obsolete. And the wildest part, it costs just $3. Look, I bet a lot of you are feeling this right now. You jumped on the AI coding hype train, maybe shelling out some serious cash for the big name tools, only to watch the prices climb and the quality kind of dip. It's super frustrating. It feels like a classic rug pull, right? But here's the thing. While everyone was getting frustrated, a new challenger quietly entered the scene. And this number, this is what changes the whole game. Not $30, not 300, three. Three bucks. That's the price for the GLM coding plan. And it's what we're gonna break down today. So here's our game plan. We're gonna start with the problem everyone's facing, then introduce this $3 challenger. After that, I'll show you the secret sauce for setting it up, a few advanced tricks, and then, you know, we'll figure out if this thing is actually the right fit for you. Okay, first up, the problem. To really get why a tool like GLM is such a big deal, you first have to understand the mess the developers are dealing with right now. The promise was just incredible, wasn't it? We were all supposed to have these brilliant, cheap AI sidekicks helping us build the future. But the reality, well, it's been a bit different. Costs have gone through the roof, the service can be flaky, and a lot of the early believers feel like the rug was just yanked out from under them. But all that frustration actually led to something good. It led to a search for a better way. So let's meet the hero of our story, the GLM coding plan. It's a seriously powerful alternative that's not just cheaper, but in some ways more reliable. So what is this thing? Well, its biggest strength, its superpower, is its ability to actually listen. It runs on the GLM 4.5 model, and look, it's not always gonna be perfect on the first shot, but, and this is a huge but, it's amazing at taking your feedback and fixing its own mistakes. That ability to learn is a total game changer. Now, they do have a $15 pro plan, but honestly, the place you want to start is right here with the $3 plan. It gives you so much more firepower than you'd expect for the price, and it's more than enough for most of us to really see what this thing can do. All right, time to get practical. Just having the tool isn't enough. You got to know how to use it right. So now I'm going to walk you through the setup method that really unlocks its full potential. This right here is the secret sauce. It's called architect mode. And it's simple. Before you let it write a single line of code, you make it create a plan, step one. Then you have it save that plan to a markdown file. This is key because it lets you check its logic first. And more importantly, the AI can actually read that file to get back on track if it gets confused. It's a simple little process that prevents so many headaches down the line. And that really is the crucial point, isn't it? The way most people use these tools is they just throw a prompt at it and, you know, hope for the best but that is a recipe for disaster and a lot of frustration. Taking a structured approach like this architect mode is what separates the people who get amazing results from those who just get a mess of buggy code. Now you also need to give the AI a few rules to follow, but here's the trick, keep them super, super simple. Why? Because that context window is precious real estate. You wanna save all that space for the actual coding task, not for a giant complicated list of instructions. These simple rules are really all you need to keep it focused. Okay, so once you've got the basics down and you're in a good groove, there are a couple of advanced tricks you can use to push this thing even further. This is all about handling its biggest limitation and just squeezing every last bit of performance out of it. So here's a little pro tip for those of you using Kilo Code. There's an option called Morph Fast Apply. What it does is it uses a totally separate fine-tuned model just for applying the code edits. Yeah, it costs a little bit extra. We're talking maybe a buck per million tokens, but it cuts down on errors so much that it saves you a ton of time. And as we all know, time is money. Now, we've got to be real about the tool's biggest weakness. The base GLM 4.5 model, it's not multimodal. That means it can't look at a screenshot of a bug or a design you want it to build. It's a bummer, but don't worry, there are some really great workarounds. You've actually got a few fantastic options here. For one, you can use the Gemini Flash API, which is free to basically turn an image into text that GLM can understand. Or for about 60 cents per million tokens, you can just use the GLM 4.5 vision model, which has native image support built in. The point is you have cheap, flexible ways to solve this problem. So. We've talked about the problem, the solution, and all the methods to make it work. Which brings us to the big question. Is this the right tool for you? 
Let's get into the final things you should consider. Let's address the elephant in the room. Some people are concerned that GLM is a Chinese company. The source's perspective on this is pretty straightforward. They see GLM as a business, just like any other AI company. And they point out two key things. Their models are open source, and so far, they haven't pulled the rug out from under their users, which in today's market is a pretty big deal. So here's the final breakdown. The pros are huge. The price is just unbeatable, which gives you incredible freedom to experiment, and that feedback loop is fantastic. On the con side, it might take a couple of tries to get something perfect. And for some folks, the company's origin is going to be a sticking point. And this quote really gets to the absolute heart of it. That $3 price, it's not just about saving a few bucks. It's about freedom. The freedom to try new things, to build more stuff, and to fail fast and cheap. Because that's where real innovation actually comes from, not from failing slow and expensive. So I'm going to leave you with this question to chew on. In this crazy, fast-moving world of AI, are we starting to shift away from chasing some impossible, expensive version of perfect? Could it be that the future is actually built on tools that are affordable, flexible, and just good enough to get the job done? It's a shift in thinking that could really change everything.